Hi, I'm Jay Carden, Solutions Architect with WEI, and welcome to Real Tech with WEI. You may have heard about the announcement from HPE on the ProLiant Generation 10 servers. I happen to have a DL360 Gen 10 here in the studio. Uh, you may be interested in uh, the feature sets as you look at a refresh for your architecture today. Let's take a look at some of the new features that HP has added to the new Generation 10 servers. The first, HP has added new enhanced security technologies embedded into the system. Secure BIOS against corruption or malware, intrusion detection to determine if the chassis has been opened, security like daily checks of the firmware in 24 hour intervals, detecting unauthorized configuration changes, and enhanced security with ILO 5 advanced feature sets. In addition to the security, HP has added the latest generation of Intel Skylake processors. This provides 27% increased core capacity and about 71% additional memory performance across the system. To take advantage of the new performance that the Skylake processor architecture gives you, HP has added an additional feature called Intelligent System Tuning. That adds jitter smoothing and core boosting, giving you better overall throughput while reducing the number of cores needed to run your workload. With Generation 10, we now have 12 channels of memory, giving you a throughput of over 256 gigabytes per second. Where the Generation 9 servers were limited to eight channels and only had about 156 gigabytes per second of memory throughput. What that means to you is that you've got additional memory capacity that can go inside the server. Faster performance, lower latency. The Generation 10 server from HPE can support up to 10 NVMe drives in a small form factor. This is a radical departure from the small form factor servers that you may have seen in the Generation 9 and Generation 8 servers. The Generation 10 servers use the latest generation of Skylake processors from Intel. This allows up to 28 cores per processor in a small 1U form factor. HP has made some pretty significant changes to the network architecture that has also gone into the Generation 10 servers. The Generation 10 architecture adds three PCI 3.0 buses to the back of the server that can be used for graphics adapters, network adapters, and storage adapters. The network adapters range in speeds from one gig per second all the way up to 100 gig. Their variety of network adapters is customizable within this chassis. In addition to the PCI slots, HPE has used their flexible LOM technology, LAN on motherboard, to allow you to easily configure the network adapters that are built into the system board. What this means to you is that you can run additional workloads in a smaller footprint. That translates into a better total cost of ownership. If you're at a point in your refresh cycle and you want to look more at the new architecture from HP and you'd like a demo or even an assessment of your environment, please contact us. This was Real Tech with WEI. Thank you for watching.